Welcome back Ebus. In today's video, we will install one of the desktop of uh, OpenSUSE using the JAS software manager. So let us start. We go to the system. Open Yast. Then we will open the Yast software management or software manager, whatever you call it. Let it sync with the servers. So you get the latest packages that are available when you do any installation. There is an option to skip the auto refresh also if you wish show, but that will uh, ensure that uh, the latest packages won't be available. So better is to uh, sync it or update it with the servers whenever you start it. By default it will uh, sync or update, but you can skip it using the skip auto refresh button. Okay, now I will, uh, yes, now I will go to the patterns tab. So right now the KDE Plasma, you can see here, the KDE Plasma desktop base and the KDE Plasma application and the Plasma Fire desktop is installed. So now let us install the Gnome desktop. So Gnome desktop, there are three uh, patterns available. That is the Gnome desktop basic, Gnome desktop uh, environment with Wayland, display server and the gnome desktop environment with the x11 display server or the display manager so we will have to install this three or you can install any two so this will be the common that is the base packages for the gnome desktop so you will have to install this you can install either of this or both of this that is uh, it depends on you so uh, let i will go with the wayland so let us do, but I think the Wayland also chooses the Gnome desktop environment X11 also. So these are the defaults given in the system. So we cannot do anything. So here after the selection, you can see which packages are in, uh, selected for installation. This uh, GDK buff, uh, PIX buff, thumblaner is already installed. So it is showing the green tick. Otherwise all are showing the plus sign that uh, it means that they will be installed once you confirm or accept the changes to the system. And you can add any of the softwares which are not uh, selected here. So you can add, add this gedit plugins. You can add the FFNE Gnome web browser if you want. You can add the Gnome Tweak tool. So I will do it. Gnome Tweak tool is uh, a necessary uh, tool for day-to-day -day usage. You can add the Gnome Tweaks. Yeah, I think we already, uh, okay, the Gnome Tweaks also we can add a tool to customize the advanced Gnome 3 options. So let us do that also. Okay, so it is conflicting with uh, absolute. Okay, so the Gnome Tweak tool is absolute. Okay, so I will cancel this out. What I will do is I will go there. Where was the Gnome Tweaks that we had? Uh, okay, so we will uh, click on this. It will not get installed and uh, we will go to the top. And now you can see the conflict has been removed. So now the Gnome Twix, which is of the latest version, that is the Gnome 40, it belongs to Gnome 40. So it will be installed. Like this, you have to approach the installation and uh, iron out all the conflicts. So you have to remove the conflicts before you can accept and uh, accept the changes that are going to be done to the system. And then the installation will proceed. Now you go to the Gnome desktop environment. So you are done with this the Wayland part now you go to the xorg so you check it out here any packages that you might want to install so the gnome uh, desktop api library is there it is version i think 3.18 so no it is okay 3.34 it is so no need of because it is older package so right now it is gnome 40 and above versions are going on and the system d icon branding for the open susa open source leave 15.4 icons for the system d so you can install this this is okay so there is another conflict for suci 2020 bp 
so this is the back port so uh, this this will be the latest uh, uh, versions of the uh, icons so what we will do is we will not install this so we will cancel this and uh, we will select do not install because this package uh, this icons uh, versions given in this package have been already superseded by the bp that is the backports uh, backports uh, package so if you want I, I will show you again so here you can see the install system the icon branding open susa 15.4 lp so this has uh, conflicting with this that is uh, the system icon branding with the bp 15 uh, big bp means backport so backports is the latest version so what we will do is we will cancel this and we will not install this because this is the older package so that's it. this is how you have to resolve the conflicts now once you are uh, confirm that everything is okay there are no conflicts to be attended to you can install the accept button and always remember whenever you install a new uh, desktop first install the new desktop and then only you can uh, remove any of the other desktop because what happens is suppose you in one go you install one desktop and you install the un uninstall the other desktop sometimes what happens is the desktop uh, new desktop will not be installed properly and the older desktop will be removed so then your system will go into a headless uh, condition and then you will uh, be logged into a tty console so that tty is the terminal console so many people uh, most of the people are not comfortable with the tty then you will have to use the tty to again install the proper desktop and so that you can work in the gui environment so this is how the things happen so best is first install the new desktop reboot and then you can remove the older desktop so we will not remove the kde desktop right now we will first install the gnome desktop then we will reboot into the gnome desktop open the yast and then we will uninstall the kde plasma desktop so uh, kde plasma desktop removal we will do in the next video so this video will be only the installation of the gnome desktop environment so now i will accept this we will complete the installation then we will reboot in the next video i will show you how to uninstall the kde desktop and the second video from uh, this video that will be the review of the gnome desktop environment that we have installed using the yas software manager so we will now proceed with the installation we have to accept the changes to the system the system will uh, software manager will show all the summary of the automatic changes that will be done to the system so it is mostly showing what will be added because we are not going to remove anything right now so kd plasma desktop will be removed in the next video so we will uh, hit the continue button and wait for the packages to be downloaded and installed So a total of 406 uh, MB uh, is to be downloaded. So that is not a big uh, download, only a moderate uh, size of download. It will be completed in the next, I think, 10-15 minutes.
Okay, so the installation of the GNOME desktop using software manager or the YAST software manager is done. So we can see the summary here. The total package is installed is 660. So list of packages is given here. You can see scroll it through here. The statistics are given. The elapsed time it took to install that is uh, 29.35 uh, seconds. So it is 29 minutes and 35 seconds. Total install size is 1.37 GB and total downloaded size is 406.25 NB. So you can I think uh, continue in the software manager finish uh, that will close the software manager or you, you can continue to see this report. Now you can hit the finish button or you can continue to install further software so you can install multiple desktops in one go but uh, that is not recommended but you can still do that technically so now i will finish this uh, software installation i will stop the video here uh, in the next video we will uninstall the kde desktop that was installed earlier than the gnome desktop see you in the next video bye